Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phil and welcome to a video on the Ultimate MIDI Emulator project. MIDI is a huge part of the DOS retro gaming experience. Legendary devices such as the Roland MT32, CM32L, Sound Canvas SC55, but also modules from Yamaha and others and of course the vast range of wavetable boards and general MIDI sound fonts. Unfortunately, most of these devices are very expensive, difficult to obtain and not straightforward to set up, especially if you own more than one device. Today we're going to look at a project that will replicate all of these MIDI devices but is extremely affordable, saving you hundreds of dollars if not more and is also extremely easy to set up. Now I had a go at this MIDI emulator project a while ago, but the hardware and software wasn't quite ready yet. Recently however, the stars have aligned and I was finally able to produce this video, something I wanted to do for a very long time. The heart of this project is a Windows based tablet PC. I reached out to Banggood.com and they came through and sent me the Techlast X80 Pro tablet. In this video we will take a look at the specifications of the tablet, I'll show you the project in action, then I'll explain what parts are needed and how it all connects together and finally we will take a look at the software, the Falcosoft MIDI player. The Techlast X80 Pro is an 8 inch tablet PC with an IPS screen and a 1920 by 1200 resolution. It comes with a dual operating system Windows 10 and Android 5.1. The CPU is the Intel Atom Z8300 which is a quad core. It's got 2GB of memory and 32GB of storage. There's a 0.3 megapixel webcam at the front and a 2 megapixel webcam at the rear. It's got wireless and Bluetooth, micro USB, micro SD and micro HDMI and also headphone port. It comes with a micro USB adapter, a micro USB charging cable and of course a USB charger and because I'm from Australia they also supplied a adapter. In terms of price you're looking at just over 90 US dollars. There will be another video about retro gaming on this tablet but today in this video it's all about MIDI for those golden DOS games. Let's dive straight into it and see this project in action. Here we have my Socket 7 DOS Retro Gaming PC slash Time Machine. It's got a Pentium 100, 16 megabytes of RAM, a Sound Blaster AW64 Gold as well as a Roland MPU 401 AT MIDI interface. We've got a USB MIDI adapter connected to the tablet and we are recording directly from the headphone port. Let's begin with the Roland MT32. This is the mode recommended for older DOS games, especially those from Sierra and Dynamics, that often produce sound effects that only sound correct on this unit. Many games supported the CM32L or the LAPCI, which offered an additional 33 sound effects. To get this going, we just reconfigured the MUNT emulator with the CM32L ROMs instead of the MT32 ROMs. Elite Plus and Ultima Underworld are two examples of games that only sound correct with this configuration. Newer DOS games such as Doom or Duke Nukem 3D, now they support the general MIDI standard. Here we are spoiled for choice. You can load any standard sound font in the SF2 format. Arachno, 
Corium, Fluid R3, SGM, Timbers of Heaven or the massive Crisis Sound font are just some examples but there are so many more. Let's check out the Arachno sound font, my favorite sound font for the first map in Doom. The Falcosoft MIDI player can also handle VSTi plugins. This makes available software synthesizers from Roland or Yamaha for example. Let's have a listen how Descent sounds on the Sound Canvas VA. And now we're gonna check out Duke Nukem 3D and how it sounds on the plugin from Yamaha. Now that we know what the project does, let's have a closer look at what hardware we need and how it all connects together. The tablet has a micro USB port, so using the supplied micro USB adapter we are connecting a USB MIDI interface. I urge you to buy a decent brand and not one of these no-name generic devices of eBay. I bought the Roland MU1 Mark II two years ago and it works flawless with this project. Drivers are available for XP Vista 7, 8 and also Windows 10 including the 64-bit version. The next step is connecting the MIDI interface to our DOS Retro Gaming PC. With the Roland MPU for 180 you just connect them together. But if you're using a standard sound card with the typical game port MIDI interface, you will need to buy a MIDI joiner or coupler to connect them together. But they only sell for a few dollars on eBay, so it's not a huge cost. And finally, all you need to do is connect the headphone output of the tablet PC back into the line-in of your sound card. Make sure that you configure the mixer settings and that the line-in is actually routed through to your PC speakers. The software we are using is one key component for this project. It is the Falcosoft MIDI player and what an amazing piece of software. Sultan Basco is behind this. I'll put a link to this project down below. This is a one-stop shop for anything MIDI related. For our project, it takes the MIDI signal coming from the DOS PC and into the USB MIDI interface and plays it back with sound fonts or plugins such as the MUNT MT32 emulator or the Roland Sound Canvas VA. Right click to access some options and set it so that the configuration is saved in a config file. This allows you to just copy and paste the entire folder and create separate versions all pre-configured and ready to go just like I'm showing in the video. The MIDI input was automatically configured on my setup. Check that the MIDI device shows up and make any necessary adjustments. To use a sound font, just follow the menu options and choose a sound font that you want to use. To configure a VSTi plugin, right click on the main screen and follow the menu options to load the plugin which usually comes in the form of a DLL file.
There are little stop and play buttons for the plugins and you can also have the plugin load automatically. This is something you should really enable if you want everything to start up automatically like in this video. For the MUNT emulator, you also need to load two sets of ROM files, which can be found on the internet. There's a set for the MT32 and there's a separate one for the CM32L. Also specific to the MUNT emulator, you want to set the sample rate to 32 kHz. And there you have it guys, I'm so happy that I was finally able to make this project come to life and share it with you. MIDI music with old DOS games sounds absolutely fantastic, but some of these MIDI modules sell for insane prices. So hopefully, this is something that will let more people experience DOS gaming with the Roland MT32 or general MIDI music without costing a fortune. Big thank you to Banggood for supplying the tablet PC and making this video possible. And without the Falcosoft MIDI player, the project is doable, but not nearly as polished and convenient, as you would have to use several programs and manual user input required to switch between the MIDI options. And that's it for this video guys. Check out the links down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, share, like or dislike the video and let me know in the comments what you think about this project. Is this something you could see yourself doing as well? Or do you prefer having the real thing instead? Thank you for watching and I shall see you soon with another video about retro gaming with this tablet PC.